Hey guys, this is Limefire. I uh, just want to do a quick video here on a little bit of Java tutorial here, because um, I take take took a class recently in Java, and I learned quite a bit. So right now I'm going to show you guys how to make a random number generator, um, and maybe yeah, we'll just we'll play around with it from there. Okay, so let's create a new class. Let's do random num. Okay, we've got random num. Select all this stuff. Um, this IDE is called BlueJ, in case you guys were wondering. It's free. B-L-U... <laughs> B-U-L-E-J. Sorry. Um, public class. Uh, R-A-N-D-O-M-N-U-M. -M. Random num. Okay. And now we do our public static void main, which I will explain in a later video what public static void main is. Um, ST, oh my god. I can't type today. And then we do string ARGS brackets. Okay, that's what we want. Another curly, another curly brace thing there. Okay, so public static void main that does have significance. You must put that in your code or it will not work. Okay, um, so now we're going to do a random number generator. Um, what a random number generator does is it creates a random number from a specified number to another number, uh, whatever you want. Um, so here, we're going to start off with this. Um, what we want to do originally is we want to cast, what's called casting, um, is you're going to go like this, you're going to put int, which is a, um, a value, um, and it, or an int value, an int is a type of value, it's an integer. Um, it's not a decimal, it's not it's not a fraction, nothing like that. It is one, two, three, nothing in between. Um, that's what an int is. Um, so we want to cast it as an int, which means that math.random will only return an int after it's done executing. Um, so now we do math, if I can type, dot, R-I-N-D-O-M. And pretty self-explanatory with math.random there. Okay. Um, so now we're casting math.random as an integer, as you see here by this parenthesis. It's kind of like multiplying math.random by an integer type, and that's going to give us this as an integer. Okay, so you're going to multiply this by the number that you want, um, the max number that you want. Let's say, okay, let's say we want a random number between... Um, 0 and 25. To get a random number between 0 and 25, we're going to put 26 here. Because what math.random does is it creates a random number between 0 all the way up to 0 0.999999999, not to 1. But since we're casting it as an int, if you get 0 0.99999, Java rounds down to a 0. If it's, if it's 1.0, one, then it rounds down to a 1. So if we get anything less than 1, this is going to be a 0. Um, and then 0 times 26 is obviously going to be 0. But 1 times 26 is going to be 26. Um, I said that wrong. My bad. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, sorry about that. So now we've multiplied this by 26. Uh, you always want to go one number over because of that reason, because it goes to zero. I might have confused you guys. I hope you, I hope I didn't. Um, okay, so now we have math dot random times twenty six. So I'm going to put more braces here because I want to add to this math. Actually, no, I'll put I'll put it here because so we can just it, yeah. I'll put that there. Okay, so now we have this. Now we have math dot random times twenty six. And yeah, so this will give us a random number between 0 and 25, okay? So what we want to do now, if we want to add up that number, if we want to say, okay, let's go between 5 and 25, we're going to do plus 5, plus 5 here, okay? And then we're going to close our curly, uh, close our brace, add another one here, because it will not compile if you don't have the correct amount of braces. Um, so now it's 0 and 26, but then what you want to do is you want to minus 5 from this. So this is going to be 21 now. Okay, so this is going to give us um, between 5 and 25. That I know it says 21, but it's really 25, because if you add 25 to that, it's 26, and then 
between 0 and 26 gives you 0, really gives you 0 and 25. Okay, so now we have to put our uh, semicolon there. Okay, and let's close this, and then we'll close this. So let's see what happens here. Compile, not a statement. Interesting. Okay, that's why, because I'm not setting it to anything. I want to print this, my bad. System.out.println. That's the standard printing um, whatever code. It's, 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 an, it's a method, essentially, that uh, is in the system class and all that type of stuff that will print out in a applet window type, terminal window type thing that um, will print out whatever this is. So let's compile here. No syntax errors. That means we're all good. Do right click this, go to void main string ARGS, click that. Um, this will always come up. Um, that in certain applications you can actually change what's in that and that'll give you different values. But for right now we just want to do whatever's inside those those curly braces, which is inside our program we have the curly braces in there. So we're good here. So we'll click OK. There you go, we got ten. Okay, so let if we run it one more time, we get twenty-two. Okay, and let's run it one more time, and we get 22 again. Um, okay, one more time. Five. See, so you can see it randomly generates a number. This is going to be the lowest value we can get because it's five, because remember we added five to it. Okay, so that was a pretty simple video there. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to take a user's input, prompt for a user's input, and then use a maximum number and a minimum number. Okay, so this is going to be quite a little bit more complicated. Not a ton, but a little bit more complicated. So what we need to do, we actually need to import for this. So we're going to import, um, oh my god, I cannot type. Import java.io.star. The star imports everything in that java.io class. And then we're going to import, yeah, import java.util. Okay, so now we have both of those. We can now use scanners. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to create a new scanner object. Scanner, my bad. Scanner, scan. You can name it whatever you want. Equals new, new. You don't. You can have a space in there or not. I just uh, prefer not to. And then we put system, s y s t m dot in. There we go. Okay, so now we have a new scanner object called scan. Okay, and then after this, to make the scanner work, you want to do scan dot next line. And what that does is that captures. Um, I actually need to set this to a string. My bad. Um, but what that does is it captures a uh, whatever the scanner takes. It captures it as a string or whatever you want. I'm actually going to change this. Um, my bad. I'm going to change this to an int. New int. Uh, next int, my bad. Um, and now we're going to set this as int um, uh, for min number. Min num. There. Okay, so int min num now equals scan dot next int. Okay, so now we get, can get rid of this. We can keep our math dot random actually. Um, and let's do this one more time. Okay. Um, here, just a little bit, uh, system, so I ask, just bear with me on my typing, um, like I said, bear with me on my typing, okay, so, um, input, uh, lowest, oh, W, E, number, My God! There we go. Okay, so input lowest number. Actually, we're going to change the print so it doesn't print a line after it. And I'm going to do this here so it looks all fancy like. Okay. Um, and this is an escape sequence. This creates a new line underneath it, and then it'll prompt right after that. You'll see what it what it's like. So now it'll uh, prompt that, and then it will capture um, whatever is in that into this int. And then we want to prompt one more thing. Print. Uh, we want to prompt input max number. Uh, 
Okay. So we input an X number. We're going to do our escape sequence again. Okay. Uh, always remember to put your um, thingies there. Whatever. Okay. Now we want to do int um, max num um, equals scan scan dot next int. Okay. And now this works. So now min min num equals the first scan dot next int. And then max num scan dot next int throws away whatever its old value was and gives it a new one. And now max num eats, equals that. So what we want to do here is we put max num where we want it. Okay, so we'll put here we'll put min num min num. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to do max num. But remember how we had to. Uh, Remember how we had to minus whatever our minimum number here was from the maximum number? So we're doing max num minus min num. So max num minus min num. Um, so we're going to multiply about max num minus min num, and then we're going to add to that entire thing min num. Okay, so um, let's compile those syntax errors. So now when we run this, it will prompt for input lowest number. Okay, uh, our lowest number, let's make our lowest number seven. Okay, enter it. Now it says input max number. Let's make our max number 47. Okay, now it gave us 41. Okay, so if we do seven and 47 again, um, seven and 47. Now it gave us 46. Okay, so seven and enter and 47 again 26 so you can see this works you could do it whatever you want you can use this program for anything you want to um, maximum minimum minimum numbers and you can take in whatever you want um, thank you guys for watching please subscribe and um, if you enjoyed the video hit the like button um, if you didn't enjoy the video well uh, I guess leave a comment and see, tell me what I can do better next time. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Limefire, and have a great day.